Hello everybody, uh, welcome back to the, the Blind Wood Turner and today we're going to be doing Taylor's, Taylor's Murfield's new Kappa fountain pen. It's a very special pen and what's different about it, it's sort of like, a, dare I call it, a hybrid and you can have it as a fountain pen or with a couple of quick uh, substitutions you can turn it into a rollerball pen and first feel of the pen kit it's you know Taylor's Murfield's usual high spec high quality kit so uh, I'm going to get the camera in closer now and we will talk through all the various components quickly before we start the cutting of the blank and drilling etc so I'll just move the camera and then we'll get cracking okay so what we have here now it's everything laid out and we'll start up here this is the the pen blank that Nicola has chosen so I always do the first of most things and give them to Nicola so it's one of those acrylic and wood blends I don't know what the correct term for them is but uh, that should be very interesting. First one I'll have turned of those. And then you have here the two brass tubes, the fatter tube being for the cap and the thinner tube for the main pen body with the bushings there. Now uh, I've spoke to Dan, well Nicholas spoke to Dan at Taylor's Murfield and said this kit is very similar to their Alpha kit and requires the same drill bit sizes so it's 12.5 and 10.5 millimeter drill bits you'll need for the tubes so that's the tubes and the bushing assemblies now this here it's the high quality Schmidt refill which is the roller ball nib and then you have the the screwing nib which would replace the fountain pen nib here let's go down here and there here, here you, you've got the ink country ink cartridge mouth not working today come on Chris ink cartridge and you have the converter or adapter and then if I move along here you've got here the the main body end finial and the ring here we have the nib section and it's a number six nib it all feels amazing, it really does. And then here you have the clip and the cap inserts there. So that's basically it. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to take uh, you over to the bandsaw and we shall cut this to length. So let's get sad air started. Oh my lord, what is it with my mouth today? Not enough tea, that's what it is. Okay, I will cut the cap tube first. It's the fatter and the shorter, so I shall just move my fence to give me The length of cut plus a couple of millimetres. So make sure everything's hunky dory and off we go. Hands well sir. There's numero uno. Number two, excellent. Okay everybody, it's time for drilling party. 
the cap. So let's just make sure everything. We'll just go nice and slow. Part B now, main body. Let's get this drilled through. And now it's time to scuff the tubes up and insert the tubes with epoxy. So I'm going to do that now, so I'll be back when that's done. Okay everybody, it's uh, time to just square off the ends now on the disc sander. Let's just get where I'm going there. And don't forget your dust masks. Let's go. Okay everybody, the blanks are mounted on the mandrel now, so we're good to go. Just find my position. And off we go. This, uh, this really does turn very nicely and the fusion of wood and acrylic, just I found it just takes very light cuts and this is pretty much down to where I need it to be now so it's ready for some sanding which I will omit uh, because no one wants to watch sanding of course so uh, I'll be back when I've sanded this up. So this has been sanded now to 220 and it's had a coat of sealer so I'm just going to knock that back now you wouldn't normally apply sanding sealer to obviously an acrylic pen but because there's wood fused with the acrylic I thought it, it wouldn't harm to give it a wipe over with seal. So here's the second coat. Second coat of sealer. And that will only take a second to flash off and then we can denib it again. Okay everybody, welcome back. Now what I've got here is, it's a set of wooden bushings that I made quite a while ago and <clears throat> when I first started using Yorkshire grit on pen kits, 
when you have the metal bushing still in place because it's abrasive it's actually it's cleaning and polishing the the bushings as well if you get any Yorkshire grit just uh, resting on the bushings and it would polish them and then you get the the dark slurry uh, and it'd be making a, a dirty paste and with some of the earlier pen kits that I did using Yorkshire grit you could sl maybe get a slightest little ingress of Yorkshire grit, dirty Yorkshire grit getting in between the brush tube and the acrylic now uh, that happened on one of Nicola's pens uh, so when Nicola was quality controlling it luckily I could put the clip in such a way that it hid some of the uh, the dirt that had got under the acrylic so I made these wooden bushings anyway to uh, stop that so I'm onto the Yorkshire grit stage now so I'm just going to apply some Yorkshire grit just by hand And then we'll start polishing these now with the Yorkshire grit. Turn the speed up there. Get this work works well in. Time for some burnishing now, so I've got some burnishing cream. Just rub that in by hand a little. Off we go. And that feels very nice indeed. Okay, so I'm ready for assembly now. So first thing I will do is have a feel here. I've just laid the pieces out. So this is the nib coupler. So I need to gently press this home. very lightly at first just to get something started and that feels whole and now the end finial So 
So, like I say, very similar. If you've, if you've not done one yet, uh, you should give them a go. But very similar to the Alpha Fountain Pen by Taylor's Murfield. So this is all going together absolutely beautifully. So I'll feel for the nib section now. Screw that home. And I've got the finial section there. So that's the main body of the pen complete. Now we have the cap assembly, so this is the bottom of the cap. Again just, just gentle pressures at first just to get things started. You don't want to overstress that acrylic. And if things are going in skewed, that can cause the acrylic to uh, to crack. Take it from one who knows. And then you're going to have here the top cap for the cap. Again, just very gentle, light pressure, getting things moving. And that feels terrific. And I can feel the difference between the, the wood and the acrylic. It's very nice, really nice. Uh, and obviously, you have the ink converter and the cartridge but what makes this pen so special is I will show you now I shall just unscrew the cap I'm just going to try and zoom in I'll just guess this obviously but hopefully you can get that there now get rid of that plaster uh, if I Unscrew the nib assembly. This kit has come supplied with a, a ballpoint pen nib. And as I've unscrewed too much there, let's try this. No, I've done it right, I just haven't screwed it in enough. So the rollerball nib is in. I think I'm doing it right, but I don't think there's any instructions as of yet. So that's just how I go with this now. And I think that goes in there. And then this will screw on. And there you have a rollerball pen. So, like I said, a hybrid. So, all pretty cool. So, absolutely amazing. And in the, there is a spring in there that you can feel in that end cap. So, amazing, two pens in one. That's really cool. 
you know, well done to Dan and everyone else at Taylor's Murfield for producing such a lovely kit. And then, obviously, you get your cap. So, anyway, uh, I'll get some close ups now. Okay, everybody, so there you have the finished item back with the fountain pen nib back in and it's a hybrid blank for a hybrid pen and over here you've got the rollerball nib and cartridge so if, if you're out and you're using the fountain pen and the ink runs out and you go oh my lord if you're in a meeting and you need to carry on writing you can just take the nib out the fountain pen nib out and convert it to a rollerball. Absolutely brilliant. I hope Nicola likes it. It's been really easy, funnily enough, to turn. Uh, it's quite a simple kit, but the quality and the feel uh, is superb. Nicola does a lot of fountain pen writing, and she says that the Taylor's Murfield pens write impeccably well. Very high quality. So, uh, if you're into pen turning and you've not tried a Taylor's Murfield kit yet, uh, give it a go, you shall not be disappointed. Uh, well worth every penny. So, before I go, I'd just like to give a couple of shout outs uh, and I'll get Nicola to put a couple of links in the description. And one is to Leon from Wood, as in the material. Would you believe it? So, Leon's a a very skilled cabinet maker and is a very very <laughs> likeable chap I've met him at the symposium last year and we spoke a couple of times since uh, great guy check out his channel and see all his amazing segmented kits being made and how he builds them up so check out would you believe it and secondly Stephen Watson and Stephen's 8x6 uh, workshop so Stephen again uh, a very likeable chap and Nicola said his videos have very high production values and he spends a lot of time and effort making them look very very good indeed for you folks so check them out if you haven't already so that's it for now so I'll catch you on the flip side everybody thanks for tuning in don't forget to like share comment and subscribe bye Woo